Kedra with Next Moon Oracle, and today I'm bringing you a Divine Feminine Twin Flame reading. So I'm going to be um, tapping into the current energies for Divine Feminine um, in your, you know, headspace, heart space, and your soul. Uh, some things that Spirit sees that you're working on, but you really don't um, see that progress and spirit wants to amplify something that you are you either are currently working on that you're just naturally have about you with energetically and how you're doing things on this journey spirit wants to you know give you some um, props because you know this twin flame journey can have these painful roadblocks and stumbling blocks and we just have to get back on it um, and then we're going to tap into the um, connective energy energies with your divine masculine and then at the end, I'm going to do a Divine Masculine check-in with messages from Divine Masculine. I'm putting out those at the end for those of, of us that in the collective, because there's always two groups of in the collective. There's um, the ones that have been on this journey and they've really learned what this Twin Flame journey is about. They're, they've detached completely from the Divine Masculine. You know you know that they are you you are them and this is about your spiritual journey and your ascension and then there's another group that know this as well but they haven't really gotten there yet and I want to tap into things for them because spirit will always give messages um, to those that are not where they want to be on the journey and I don't want to make a divine feminine reading where I just don't do Divine Masculine because I know on my journey I like to tap into that and by tapping into the Divine Masculine I could see things differently and it actually helped me move forward on my progress until I didn't really need to check in with that person anymore or check in on the energy or the connective energy or, or this and that and it, and it is your own progression so I make it available to you if you want to see it, if you want to check into it. Um, if you don't that's fine, there's no judgment, this is your journey you do with it as you see fit for your highest good. So I'm going to get started and go into your this collective's headspace for Divine Feminine. And I'm going to start with tapping into some situations that are currently going on in either the recent past or currently that Spirit wants to address or talk about in regards to Divine Feminine. All these cards have been blessed. Archangel Michael, what a beautiful card to get. On a Monday morning, first thing out of the gates. Archangel Michael, protection prevented from harm, divine intervention. Spirit, right away off the bat, and I have felt Spirit all morning in regards to this reading, that this was... In this collective, you are very protected. Spirit is intervening. I have felt this on in my own journey because I do believe this. Is, I am part of this collective as well. And Spirit is saying, "Call on Angel Mar Archangel Michael. Call on me, Spirit. Your Spirit guides at work in love and light, and know that you are protected on this journey. If you have a stumbling block, that's fine. We got you. Just get back on it." Keep going. Keep keep your ascension going. Keep living your best life. You're protected and Spirit's saying, I got you. I got this. I got this situation. Trust me. And divine intervention is a beautiful message to get because, you know, sometimes you feel a little alone and you don't know how things are going to work out. Spirit's saying, I have the wheel. You just live your best life and let, let me drive the car. So we're going to tap into just a little bit more spirit. I'm going to get a Twin Flame Journey Oracle by Mystic Moon and this one was Situations by Intuitive Envisions 1111. It's my go-to go card. It's situations, really great cards. Spirit, can you tell me about this divine intervention for Oh my gosh, that's what it's all about. I'm, uh, oof. I felt it, I felt it this morning. Just this, it's, 
it's been just getting so much stronger, the divine intervention and feeling spirit. This is this is the journey. Spirit saying, just keep going. This is the journey. It's about your ascension. You are ascending. You are being illuminated. You're drawn to this reading right now because spirit is saying, let me row the boat. You just sit there and enjoy the ride and gain the knowledge, gain the wisdom. Be in the present moment. Align with me. Let's do this together. Let's co-create together. Let's cut away all the bullshit and just ascend. Let's go. Let's get on the journey back to ourselves, back to me. Love and light. This is absolutely beautiful. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. Now I'm going to get... So this is what's going on in your physical world. Your... And your mind. It shows me that you guys are really working this journey and you're really figuring out and learning to trust spirit and knowing what this journey is about. This is in your headspace, in your physical world. You are working this journey. If you have a if you have a bump in the road, you get back on it because you know. You know. I'm gonna get a tarot to go with this. Spirit, tell me more about this divine protection and ascending for Divine Feminine for this collective. Tell me more, please, Spirit. Yep, sun, illumination and growth. You're growing. Spirit sees it. You know it. This is in your headspace, your physical world. And I'm, I'm seeing that other people are seeing it and recognizing it. They're seeing it. And, so, and some people are being inspired by your growth, your ascension, your change in your energy the love you're radiating. This is absolutely beautiful. This is your, this is beautiful. So now I'm going to go into your heart space, Divine Feminines. Whew, that was beautiful. So in your heart space, what's going on there? I'm using the uh, Flaming Roses Lover's Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Spirit. I'm called. I'm being called to shuffle. All of the cards have been blessed with and knocked energy and cleared of all energy with saging before, but sometimes I'm just called to shuffle it again. I'm not going to take those. Too many. Too many fell out at once. Okay, there we go. Things are not the same anymore. This is in your heart space. I'm going to get an oracle to go with this, just to confirm. I, I'm getting messages, but I want to confirm. Spirit, tell me about the Divine Feminine's heart space, that things are not the same anymore. Tell me about what's not the same anymore, or a message in regards to it. Spirit. What's not the same anymore? getting that since you have released and you're on your ascension and the illumination and growth that you're having, you're just releasing a lot of things that used to bother you, the, the mindsets, the beliefs, divine masculine. And they're just not the same anymore. And, and, and for Sometimes you feel like you may, you miss that. You miss sometimes you miss your divine masculine, and that's totally normal on this journey. We all do, even though sometimes we're we're angry. It depends on where you are in the journey. Like I never get <laughs> mad at my divine masculine anymore, at all. And if you keep on the journey, you won't either. But sometimes you do feel that things aren't the same anymore. People are different. The world looks different to you. The world looks different. You see things in a different way and sometimes it makes you a little woeful but then sometimes it's like the most beautiful blessing in the world to see things so different and be so free. Releasing so much pain, releasing so much and what's replaced, what, re what replaces it is 
unconditional love of self and then you spread love and high vibrational energy to the people around you and those you love and interact with and then it spreads to the vibrational frequency of our planet so just keep going forward so spirit I'm gonna get a tarot for this tell me more about this release and things not being the same anymore tell me more yeah three of cups all of this it, it goes to exactly what I said before I pulled this card when you're you're very happy that you're on this journey and that the pain is lessening or even no more for some of you that that chaser energy is leveling that focus on the divine masculine is lessening or gone for the most part because you're always you're one but I mean focus on the physical person is either gone or it is lessening and lessening and lessening and you're able to get out and do the things you love you're vibrating this beautiful energy to your community your family you are really celebrating your life living your best life seeing what seeing things outside of this um, twin flame journey that got you so anchored into the dark night of the soul and anchored into another person instead of living your best life now you see that you see what the world has to offer what the universe is providing what ascension is bringing you and it's absolutely beautiful This is a beautiful reading. Way to go, Divine Feminines. Just keep going. See what the universe has to offer. Celebrate your life with your friends, your family, your community, volunteering. Um, it just radiates everything outward. Light, you're, you, some of you may be light workers. I know that this journey for me caused me to uh, be a light worker and it started, you know, it made me want to help other um, chasers chasers <laughs> um, to help them with their pain and to help guide them and that's the whole reason that I'm doing this channel and it I wouldn't have done it I never would have gotten on YouTube um, for this because it was very private to me it was very private pain and now I'm just sharing it and I'll share more of my journey I'll share more of my experience and more of my ability to do tarot and tap into messages and my intuitive gifts I, I want to share to help you and you just never know what this journey is going to bring to you but once you release and you see what the spiritual journey I mean what this twin flame journey or dynamic is really about which is aligning with your soul and ascending with spirit and self-love and living your best life spirit's got your back and spirit says sometimes it it may be frightening sometimes it may be sometimes it may be frightening and sometimes it may be woeful but keep going release it see the beauty and what's being replaced what's being replaced is more, more beautiful accept it and it's okay then release it and celebrate okay I'm going to I think I'm going to go into the soul space okay I'm going to tap into a subject in regards to your soul I went ahead and wrote an outline on my laptop so I kind of keep browsing it because I want to cover everything for you guys. I wrote an outline, just a little basic outline to organize my readings better. I like free flowing but I also you know, want to make sure for the Divine Feminine that I have this more organized for the bigger readings. 
so I don't leave anything out. Spirit, can you tell me what's going on with this collective soul? Self-sabotaged. Your soul is saying, as human beings, we are prone to self-sabotage uh, because we identify with our minds. We're conditioned to believe certain things, we're brought up and have, have our baggage. And for some reason, humans really do self-sabotage themselves in different forms. Like somebody could have a, an amazing life and they're doing great, but they're smoking or drinking. And this actually self-sabotages you because it's not great for your body or your longevity of life. I'm going to get an oracle. No, I'm going to get a tarot. Tell me about this self-sabotage in regards to divine feminine spirit. Tell me what's going on in the soul. Spiritual advisement, yes. I, I believe that your soul is just saying, listen to your higher self. What you know is to be true instead of the limiting beliefs or behaviors or that you can't get out of this or you can't get out of that or, you know, I'm not going to be able to do this on my twin flame journey. And then sometimes we just, like, self, the self-sabotage I'm getting could be as mundane as daydreaming about the divine masculine just you know sitting in your office at work and you're just having a daydream about divine masculine that's actually self-sabotaging your journey because it's it's building up that shared energy that you guys have with one another and that's what makes them run if there's no shared energy and you're focused on your ascension trusting spirit releasing the attachment to the physical person and realizing being illuminated that you are one soul in two different bodies but you are one soul they are you you are them and release this need for the physical person because that is what's sabotaging this journey is thinking that you need this person or the beliefs that are out there that you're supposed to be in union with this person and you and that's the that's just the way it is and you have to keep love and light in your heart for this person send them love do rituals do cleansing and and it's just and that actually keeps you attached to the, the physical person and it also keeps you attached to the belief that you're separate when spirit's saying it's about unconditional love of self your ascension, aligning with your soul and spirit, and living your best life, focusing on you, planning your life, being present in the moment, taking action steps for the future, but not living in the future or not thinking the future is where your happiness is. Spirit saying the future is now. Spirit says, go within. The spiritual advisement is listening to your soul, listening to your spirit, listening to what you know this journey is about and release the limiting beliefs that you have that this journey is too hard let go of the story of your twin flame let go of that physical person and celebrate yourself love yourself your family your community and that's what it's all about I'm gonna get one of my cards I, I made a deck specifically for the twin flame journey as spirit has told me and guided me to understand that this this is not a journey about a romantic relationship this is a journey of ascension and these are my these will be available on Etsy this week so this is my first um, divine feminine reading with these and it helps me to kind of narrow down where what the soul and what spirit wants us to focus on or tell us what we're focusing on too much in the journey and that we need to work on Spirit, tell me about the self-sabotage. Tell me about this self-sabotage, Spirit. Whoa, that's a lot. Family has come out again. Repelled. Okay. 
I'm going to get one more. Tell me what else, Spirit, in regards to self-sabotage. Hi everyone, sorry about that. My daughter wanted to ask me a question. Okay, so getting back to this. So this is what your soul is telling you about this journey. I'm gonna get back here. And it pretty much goes with everything we've been talking about so far. I'm just going to get all the cards together. There it is. Okay. We talked about the family and celebrating your, your best life. Okay. So this self-sabotage, you know, sometimes we're woeful and we'll have daydreams and things like that about, you know, divine masculine or just the beliefs that we have, period, about ourselves, you know, that self-loathing we have sometimes, self just a self-conscious energy, what people have told us growing up or, you know, recently. And it's like these shadows looming, whispering in your ear. And Spirit's saying to be wise and to break through these illusions. Don't let others and beliefs snuff out your flame. Yeah, don't let them snuff out your flame. You're the keeper of the flame. Spirit's saying don't be haunted by what others say or have, or have done. Like I said, let go of the story. Let go of the story you tell yourself. Um, let go of the story of your twin flame. And Spirit's also saying, future focus. I brought this up earlier. That be happy right now. Be present right now. This is about being in the present moment and ascending, trusting spirit, trusting divine timing, and that spirit has your back and that you're protected. Stay on the journey, keep ascending. And spirit and your soul want me to touch on, there was a big bang, life was created, and everything that was created was an explosive part of spirit, of source. And we're all here in many different forms experiencing life for spirit because spirit only knows love only is love spirit just is and spirit wants experience and you are having an experience for spirit spirit wants you to live your best life not in pain not focusing on the future not being haunted by the past spirit saying be align yourself with spirit seek your soul seek spirit Trust spirit, trust your soul, and ascend. Be in the present moment. Stay in alignment as much as possible. When you feel out of alignment, meditate. Bring your focus on something. Pay attention to your breathing. Look at something without judging it. Take a shower and feel the water. Sometimes when I'm meditating, and I'm about to actually make a video on this meditation that I do that helps ground me and center me, is I will meditate and I will touch my face and my neck and my uh, collarbone area in certain ways, rub my hands together because you, you feel your body. You feel your body, you acknowledge your body and your soul is experiencing that body. And you're in the present moment of feeling. You're not in the past, you're not in the future, you're now. And it actually helps, especially if you're feeling you know, anxious, you know, sad, angry, you know, daydreaming and you feel guilty about the daydreaming. You just don't feel guilty for whatever you do on the twin flame journey. Just do what is for your highest good. So we're all going to, we all have, and we all will have moments where if you're in separation, the physical person is going to, even, even if you're in union, you still have to have that energy leveled. Or they run, they're repelled because the shared energy is like when you try to put two magnets together at the wrong ends, 
that shared energy you can feel. And that's exactly what happens in this twin flame dynamic. That chaser energy just sends the divine masculine running. That polarity is out of there. And this could be relationship self-sabotage, you know, the expectations that we have on a person, the judgments we have instead of this unconditional love with our with our boundaries intact and unconditional love of ourselves, and listening to what is our highest good. Spirit saying, don't stay stuck in the past. Don't, don't tell yourself stories. Be now. Don't wait for your future. You can plan your future now and take action steps, but then know your plan, let it go, and adjust the sails along the way. Spirit saying, just celebrate you. I'm going to get one more of my cards I'm being drawn to. Focus on your best life, your family, growing a family, your friends, living in the present moment, unconditional love of self, watching those limiting beliefs and self-sabotaging behavior. I have a hard time saying self-sabotage. I want to say self-sabotage self for some reason. It's hard to say it. I used to say it, but I don't, I guess because I don't want to do it. But we all have that in us. We just have to quiet the noise of the mind. Spirit, can you tell me something that you'd like Divine Feminine to focus on in regards to this journey or work on? Divine Masculine, it absolutely is. Don't focus on Divine Masculine and work on Where's it at? Here we go. I knew this was going to come out. This goes exactly to what we were talking about. The Spirit wants you to release the physical person. Stop um, as much as possible. Be gentle with yourself. Never be, never be angry at yourself about having a thought or a, a you know having a, a bump in the road I keep saying a bump in the road in regards to this journey we all have it the pull the magnetic pull is strong because of your mind spirit saying to remember what the journey's about get in alignment focus on what this is really about live your best life work on bringing yourself to the present moment knowing how, how much you've grown. Unconditional love of self. And that means limiting these self-sabotaging behaviors and thinking. Staying present, staying out of the past, unless you need to reflect on it for something and then put it away. Know, know, a, know a direction you'd like to go. Take the action steps now. But don't live here. Don't feel like that your happiness is here because this will never happen the future is non-existent all there is is the present moment you can plan but don't live there and don't think your happiness resides there your happiness is now and when you do have when you're when your divine masculine comes in if you're in separation or if you're in union with your divine masculine spirit saying don't put the focus on this person this physical person know your soul seek your soul you're in union with your soul. Release and lower the shared energy and release this missing divine masculine. Release this chaser energy, the obsessive thinking, the needing, the making things happen, the expectations on this person. Release it because that shared energy will will build up and it will repel this divine masculine release it spirit saying live your best life seek your spiritual advisement know that you are already in union with your soul and let go of this physical person thank you spirit okay so i'm going to go into i want to tap into the energy of something that you're currently doing that spirit wants to acknowledge that he just wants to give you 
you know, a pat on the back for a good going or just acknowledgement of some things that you're doing, you may be working on now and you're aware of it or some things you're, you think you're struggling with. Spirit just wants to just kind of focus on the positive things you're doing that you may not see the value or the enormity of it, but Spirit wants to check in with you. So, Spirit, can you tell me what... energies or actions that Divine Feminine is currently doing or working on or virtues that she has just automatically that you would like to shine a light on that you'd like her to realize about his, her, or their self. Thank you, Spirit. Direction. Where you're heading. Spirit says they want you to focus, or you foc you do focus on your direction. And Spirit wants to say that that this inner drive to find peace and happiness and love of self and ending cycles with the ten, ending cycles that are not for your highest good, he's, Spirit's applauding you for this. The fact that you're taking steps for your ascension and, the, and changing direction when it, it is very difficult to do. It is one of the most difficult things to do is to be on this journey and change the direction and letting go of the physical person that you're in love with and connected to. It's also hard to change directions when you felt so much love but there was so much pain and there was just all, all of these things but you, you change direction. And Spirit wants to know that was very, Spirit wants you to know that that was very brave of you. That you were seeking yourself and that's commendable. What else, Spirit? What else? Spirit wants you to be free and the Spirit's very happy that you've chosen to change directions. Thank you, Spirit. Allow me, Divine, to move with the flow and respond with the calmness and peace. Spirit is really wanting you to know you have changed your direction. You're going with the flow. You may not feel like you're going with the flow, but Spirit's saying because of your change of direction and allowing the divine to move through you and to trust, trusting the divine and your ascension process, that it's just bringing you more calmness and peace. Spirit really wants to shine the spotlight on this. That you're you change direction, you're just going with the flow and letting and letting spirit and your soul row the boat. And knowing that the direction for you is living your best life, letting go of this physical person, seeking your soul, not living in the past, I mean not living in the past or the future, but in the present moment, in love, illuminated soul growth, loving your family, yourself, your soul tribe, your friends, whatever, whoever you consider family, and that you're releasing and going with the flow, trusting in the divine, trusting that you are having an experience for spirit and that you will have an awesome experience, a beautiful experience, an experience worth everything. That's beautiful energy. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. So even when it's hard and you feel like... I've had stumbling blocks before, guys. I thought I was doing so well, and then I run right into my Divine Masculine, or I... You know the things that happen, and it just kind of knocks you off kilter. Don't be hard on yourself. Just keep going. Keep your direction, and... If you get knocked off your direction, get back on it. Spirit's saying that 
The spirit wants you to know and your soul, you're doing it because you'll get knocked off and you'll align yourself again. You get knocked off you're, and just keep, keep going, keep it going because eventually those little knockoffs are going to get less and less and recovery will be quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker and then it'll be level. Spirit's giving me the image of an earthquake. An earthquake happens, and then there's tremors, and then there's calm, and then there's rebuilding, healing, and then level, calmness. And that's what Spirit wants you to kind of keep with you, that there's gonna be earthquakes, and there's gonna be tremors, but then there's going to be the rebuilding process, the leveling process, and the calmness. And with each each um, earthquake, then it'll go to tremors, then it'll go to, you know, readjusting your sails, rebuilding, leveling, and then just calm. Eventually, it'll just be calm. And there's no more earthquakes or tremors. That's really beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, for those of you that are not going to um, continue, oh, I did want to get a connective energy before I, I close this out. If you're good with, if you're good with everything that I've said now, you can click off sign off if you don't want to hear about the connective energy between you and divine masculine that's absolutely fine and it's up to you but if you do that's absolutely fine too there's no judgment this is your journey and you're on your pace okay so I'm going to do the connective energy if you're not staying for the rest of the reading I'm going to get you a quick energy card to carry with you this week Adversity. I accept the challenges. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. This looks like a compass to me. And Spirit's saying, you're going to have some stumbling blocks on this journey. And you're going to have, you know, some self-sabotaging thoughts, behaviors, daydreams, you know, relapses with your um, twin. But Spirit says, remember to readjust your sails challenges are the best way to learn and actually that's one thing on this twin flame journey I've come to realize is that I will be leveling I'll be on it I'll be meditating I'll be you know just in my groove with my spiritual journey not thinking about my divine masculine just living and then boom something happens and I'm like I get up I, I used to get upset by it like I've done so much but now it's just like I know that my soul is giving me experiences to really adjust my sails in my direction and level because it's just like going it's just like going to school and you learn you learn a subject well you learn it and then you forget it right you'll you'll forget it but if they if they kind of teach the subject again and again in schools they do you'll you'll you're, you'll realize um, that you're learning the same thing but you're learning more of it and in different aspects of it and broader perspectives of it. And that's what the soul's doing you. The soul is giving this to you because the soul wants you to align. Spirit and soul want you to align and eliminate that shared energy between you and the twin. For your highest good, it's for your ascension. And your soul will give you these experiences so you, you can learn. They're teaching lessons. And if you look at them as challenges that teach you so you can readjust your sails gather your bearings and remember what the journey is about and get right back on it that's just illumination and growth that's part of the ascension so i'm going to leave you with that for those of you that are not going to be continuing for the divine masculine portion thank you so much see you next monday namaste For those of you that are staying, I'm going to tap into a connective energy with you and Divine Masculine this week. 
every week I'll, I'm going to be do, every Monday I do these. This is my schedule now. And tomorrow will be a divine masculine reading for divine feminines that want to uh, check in. It's more in depth. It could be for this collective. It could be for another collective. Okay, I'm going to get a connective energy. First, can you tell me what's currently connecting um, divine feminine and divine masculine currently? What's the energy? What's the shared energy going on right now? Experiences. What is something going on between the both of them connectively? Thank you, Spirit. Masculine's feeling lost. You know, last night when I was picking my card decks and meditating, um, this came out. I was shuffling and this flew out. And I just started shuffling like this and, they, and it came out again. Tell me, spirit. Okay, so what I want to say about this is masculine's feeling lost. Okay. For those of you that are that are on your journey and you're aligning, it, it actually causes this divine masculine to when that shared energy is diminishing and you're focusing on living your best life and yourself, it this divine masculine doesn't see it as oh, she's doing this, she's doing that. They just energetically feel like something's missing. And it causes them, because you're living your best life and you're readjusting your sails and you are on your ascension, it, it opens up the masculine to re-examining and going, uh, going within and doing some introspection. I'm not getting that divine masculine is feeling lost and pining for you, I feel like the energy is subconsciously, they feel like something's missing, but they don't know what it is. If they're feeling lost, like they don't know which direction to go. And that's because the more you know your direction and are redirecting when necessary, it causes this masculine to want to do the same thing. So because you're in this energy, He, she, or they is in this energy. And Divine Masculine, um, I, I feel like you're picking up on this because this is in your connective energy. I feel like you're picking up on this. So I'm going to get my Twin Flame Journey Oracle. Uh, yep, my Twin Flame Journey Oracle. And so this can tell me about it. And then I'm going to get a Tarot. Yep, Chaser. Spirit saying, even though you're, this is so beautiful, even though you do feel the masculine feeling this way, keep your direction. Change, change the direction of going towards this masculine and going down that self-sabotaging route of thinking about him because, because that, that is the obsessive thinking. And it's just going to... Um, repel the masculine and impede his his soul growth divine masculine cannot grow while you're chasing and thinking about him and worrying about him or her or them however this person identifies if you're in this energy it's just going to repel them and it's going to impede their soul growth because this divine masculine cannot come in or stay with you if you're in union if you are in this chaser energy. It's about this. Spirit says, if you feel, and I feel like you currently are feeling like this, change the direction from going this way, remember what the journey's about, and keep going. Keep going. Don't give in to the self-sabotage. Live your best life. Change direction gently. Don't be hard on yourself. And go with the flow. Allow the divine to guide you. Row the boat. Keep going. Go within. Talk to your soul. Say this, this 
line of thinking is not for my highest good. This is none of my business, what's going on with Divine Masculine, because I am living my best life. And this is just a challenge, but this is the best way to learn and I accept it. And I'm growing from it and I release this. I'm releasing this and focusing on myself, my friends and family, the love we have, my community, my career, my education, my home life, my hobbies, my interests, my activities. I'm not separate from this person. I am not concerned with this person and move forward, release it. Know that you're already one with your soul and the physical person is just a, is not what this journey's about. It's about your soul is already in union. Let this masculine live and have their experience. Keep going, keep ascending, keep living your best life. Talk to spirit, talk to your spirit guides that work in love and light. Um, call on archangels to help you just take your focus off the physical person. That's not what the journey is about. Um, let's see, I'm going to get a tarot in regards to this. Uh, actually, I'm going to go into why is this, what is the divine masculine? What does this feeling lost have to do with? I'm going to go into the oracle. What is the feeling lost? I'm, I'm a little curious. feeling lost because because you are living your best life you have changed direction you're on your ascension they energetically feel it and that shared energy is leveled and that that magnetic attraction just pulls them in the more you level that repelled energy that that shared energy that makes them run the obsessive thinking the chaser energy when you level it they're able to miss you, feel you, and they're wanting to reinvent themselves. They're wanting to reinvent things. I'm going to get a tarot. What are they wanting to reinvent, Spirit? Tell me about the separation. The Five of Wands. They're wanting to end some conflict. They feel like it's a struggle, like it's a battle. And this may be with you. I, I, it, it is with you. It's shared energy. It's connected. Yep, they're feeling the separation. This shows me that you, the twin collective I'm, I'm um, reading for is definitely in separation. And I'll make sure to label that. And there may be, you may be seeing somebody else, or they are, or you both are, and they just want to kind of reinvent, they want to change this from being conflict and competition to something else. They're wanting to reinvent it, they're feeling lost, the separation is really making them go in and think about it. It doesn't mean they're going to do anything about it, this is thinking energy. This could change next week, this could change tomorrow, it just really depends on you lowering this chasing energy and keeping your direction and changing it when you need to for your highest good. And the devil. I'm getting that the masculine is feeling, definitely feeling you. There's a lot of red in here, which that's a lot of you know, this passionate, lusty kind of energy I'm getting towards you. You have the red energy as well. But the thing is with the shared energy, when they're coming at you with this lusty energy, or you're feeling this lusty energy, that is the exact 
alarm system that your soul wants you to know, it's not time. It's not time. Masculine has to come to divine feminine, not only in divine timing, but also with where the level where the level is chill. If if he comes, he, she, or they come charging in with this sexual energy towards you, or you're feeling this energetically, that's exactly the time you need to change direction and or stay on course. I'm hearing from spirit. And just keep going and ascend. Listen to your soul. Your soul is already in union. This is lusty energy, obsessive energy, and that is not high vibrational. And it will trigger your um, chaser energy. And it'll just, it's a form of self-sabotage. Because that lusty energy, that sexual energy, if you give into it or the thoughts of it, it just ends up repelling because that shared energy is just going to build right back up. Divine masculine has to come to you correct and level. That's why, that's why you, okay, this is a better way to say it. Spirit saying, let's go this way. Okay. When this energy that divine masculine is feeling is also your connective energy. That means you're feeling this too. And that means you need to level it and, sh and, and just level it. Get on course, change direction. If this is what you're feeling, if this is your reading, masculine's feeling this because you are, because you are one. You're one, one soul in two different bodies, but shared energy. So you have to level this energy. Use them as a guide to know where you are, because if this is where he is, this is where you are. So if you're feeling this from masculine, you need to put that mirror up and say, this is me. I need to get back on course. I need to level this chaser energy and I need to live my best life, release it, grow from this, not focus on this person, align with my soul, keep going and live my best life. Get out there and do things in the community with others. Things are opening up now in the world, so you're more more able to move about freely. Go do something for yourself. Go get your eyelashes done. Go get your nails done. Go for a walk. Go for a hike. You know, do something with friends. Have a Zoom call. Have a, you know, uh, have coffee with your friends. Something that'll help you with this. I'm going to get one more. Yep. The deceptive mind. This, your deceptive mind wants you to feel this way and rationalize this. Oh, he misses me. He loves me. You know, this is working. I'm doing this and I'm going to meet with him or I'm going to text him or I'm going to, you know, have this little daydream about him. Spirit saying, don't let the mind trick you because the, the further along you get on your ascension, the more deceptive your mind gets and tries to rationalize self-sabotaging behavior. Spirit says, stay out of that. Don't be haunted by it. Don't go to the past. Stay out of future thinking with this masculine. Bring your attention to the now. What's going on now? See, this is a learning moment. That mind is very tricky. I highly recommend reading The Power of Now, and it will help you um, with this journey tremendously and how to um, control this deceptive mind and stay on your journey, how to shift focus. Let me get one more. Yeah, because this will all lead to pain and confusion. Focusing on this, um, reaching out to Divine Masculine with this energy or you feeling this energy from Divine Masculine, it, it will repel them. It will cause pain and confusion and then because it will repel them. They may come in, they may, you may want to text them and they don't text back and guess what's gonna happen? Pain and confusion. You don't want this. You want this. You want this. So change direction, say to yourself, these thoughts are not for my highest good. I am not going to focus on the physical person or his business. 
And I'm ascending, I'm moving forward, I'm releasing these energies, I'm releasing these thoughts, feelings, and I am bringing myself to the now. And then bring yourself to the now. And every time you bring yourself to the now, that's how you align with your soul. Because the soul is the watcher. The soul sees everything with no judgments, just experiencing. Okay, now I'm going to tap into the Divine Masculine. What's going on in Divine Masculine's world currently? And then um, messages as well. Can you tell me what's currently going on in the masculine's world? What they're experiencing? Um, what they're feeling? What's going on with divine masculine? What's going on in their world currently? Toxic growth and creation, masking feelings. Okay, I'm gonna get a tarot. For each one. Tell me about toxic spirit. Tell me about toxic. What is toxic? Actually, you know what? I'm going to get one of my cards for toxic. Tell me about toxic spirit. Tell me about toxic spirit. What's toxic? What's going on? Keepsakes and memories. What else, Spirit? Tell me about living in the past. Okay. Now I'm going to get one for growth and creation. Can you? I'm going to get a tarot for that. T tell me about growth and creation, Spirit, in, in Divine Masculine's world. <coughs> That's too many. If one would have been flipped over, there you go. Knight of Cups, romantic gesture. Okay. And then Masking Feelings, I'm going to go into the Twin Flame Journey Oracle by Mystic Moon. Oh, I forgot to say, this uh, this Flaming Roses Lover, Lover's Oracle is by Twin Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. And this tarot is by Mystic Moon, Twin Flame Journey Tarot. And these are my cards, uh, the Twin Flame Journey Oracle by Nyx Moon Oracle, which is me. Okay, tell me about these masked feelings, Spirit, with Divine Masculine. Destruction, pride, and ego. Which, this is my um, Divine Masculine uh, Twin Flame Journey card. Um, every time I see a peacock, you know, Spirit told me that is me needing to readjust my sails. Um, okay, so what I'm getting is, in regards to the toxic behavior, and we'll get a, we'll get a message for each one of these, okay? So I'm going to start with this one first, the toxic. I'm going to put these right here. Toxic. Divine Masculine is currently just feeling, you know, is living in the past. And see, this is all toxic. Just hanging on to every little piece of the past. Some of this may involve you because of the... the um, card we showed earlier. Uh, let's see, let me find it. Yeah, Divine Masculine feeling lost and the separation. I'm feeling like Divine Masculine is, it's not just you that they're living in the past with. They're living in a, they're living and seeing the world through toxic lenses. These spilled cups, like missed opportunities. Um, mistakes. This flower has turned to stone. There's a flower right there. I feel like that Divine Masculine is just holding... I, I, I feel like Divine Masculine feels like there was missed opportunities in in his life and I feel like it is in regards to you as well because of the separation card and this flower they feel like this flower has just turned to stone or died and they're living in the past and their time right here says 1010 which is funny because I've seen 1010 
uh, like four times today, but not on a clock, just and just all month long, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I know what it means, so it's just a message for me. They're living in the past. I feel like some of them have a some pictures of you or keep, uh, you know, things you've given them, things you've shared, and they have them. They're reflecting on them. And the reason why they're doing this is because you're leveling, leveling your shared energy. Whatever happened was toxic. It, it, they feel like it's toxic that the flowers died or turned to stone. And it's a missed opportunity with this spilt cup. And they're just living in the past. Haunted by it. Seeing reminders of you. I'm also feeling this is just not about you. They're reflecting on their whole life. Their toxic you know, environment growing up. Things they've done. Alcohol may be involved here. Um, not that they're drinking alcohol now, but maybe they're recovering. Maybe they're a recovering alcoholic on, or on the road to recovery. And they're just really reflecting on their past and why they're here and what they've done to people, um, what's been done to them. Let me get a message from uh, Divine Masculine in regards to this energy. I definitely feel like they are, they have some things of yours that they are looking at, memories, but it's also a lot of just their whole life. They're re-examining. That's why they're feeling lost. I'm finally seeing the consequences of my actions. Yes, exactly. They're reflecting on their past and what they've done. And our connection still affects me. Okay, so this is in regards to you. That just confirmed. The separation, um, them looking over maybe photos, letters, gifts. I'm seeing some of them, they've written in journal or songs about you. And, sorry guys, my daughter is making a movie for um, a project and she needed me to help her edit it. I knocked some cards over when I did that. Okay. So yeah, this I feel like this masculine is, has journaled about this, maybe writing songs about this. And maybe cre growth and creation did come up, so maybe creating I'm hearing music, art, poems from this feeling. You, their con your connection still affects them. And they're living in the past with it. And they think that this rose has turned to stone. But the thing is, you can't focus on that. Or reach out to him for that. Or text him because of this reading. Focus on your journey. But they are feeling the consequences of their actions. Definitely. Okay, and now I'm going to go into the growth and creation and the Knight of Cups. I feel like because of the energy we just saw, they're wanting either there's feelings growing within them that they're wanting to reach out and make a romantic gesture towards you. I'm going to get what that looks like with a message. They want to. This does not mean that they will because I can want to go on a diet and um, exercise five days a week doesn't mean I'm going to do it. It means I want to. I might be inspired to do so in the future, but that doesn't mean I'm going to do it now. And that's free will. You're an angel. This actually is uh, related. This is something my um, Divine Masculine said to me as well at one point. They want you to know you're an angel to them. Tell me, spirit, about the romantic gesture. I feel like they want to, you know, maybe ask you for coffee. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. I was feeling that energy. 
and this was on the bottom of the deck. No other compares to you. I feel like if they're in a another situation, for some of you, I feel like some of them are in another situation. Either they are just dating, they're living with somebody, or maybe they got married, or they're just dating, period. I feel like for some that they want to make this romantic gesture, it's growing in their belly, it's just, they can just feel it. But they're also feeling lost, remember? They're feeling lost. And let me see if it's in this one. Yeah. They're feeling lost. They want to make this romantic gesture, but they're also feeling this self-sabotaging beliefs that you're an angel and they don't know if they can meet your expectations. They see that you're growing or feel that you're growing and improving and, and just living your best life and moving on past them. They feel toxic. And I feel like because they're in a different, some of them are in different situations or dating around, they know that you know this. Deep down, they feel like you know it and they could not come to you correct if they are with another person. And they just feel toxic. Like, like you're almost like saying you're better off if I don't. I want to, but you're better off if I don't. And that will take me into the last topic, masking feelings. Yes, they want to offer you a romantic gesture. It's growing, but they're masking it. I mean, I feel like for some of you, you would be like, felt like you were hit by a truck if they came towards you because you didn't see it coming because they have masked their feelings so well. They feel like they have destroyed any possibility of reaching out to you or you accepting it or entertaining it. They feel like they just destroyed it and they don't know if they can meet your expectations. And even though they have this wanting, this wanting to reach out to you, make a romantic gesture. Remember, remember, I also said it was lusty because that obsessive card came out, the devil card came out. It's also lusty. So this isn't correct energy to come to you with and deep down they know it. And also, because of something that they did to destroy and mask their feelings, the pride and ego is huge. At this time, they, you know what, before I say anything, I'm gonna get a message. I'm gonna get a couple of messages. I'm gonna go into what they didn't say by Rising Sun Oracle. Tell me about this pride and ego and masking feelings. What have they masked? What have they masked because of their pride and ego? You have forever changed my life. I am confident we will reunite again. This is what they won't tell you because of their pride and ego. What else, Spirit? What else? So you have changed their life forever. But their pride and ego is getting in the way. But that's your shared energy. I need to figure some things out before I can approach you. Absolutely. I, I was really picking up very strong, um, picking up very strongly that this person may be either dating, engaged, living with somebody new, or recent, recently got married. And they don't know how they, they would come to you. So they're masking their feelings, even though this growth is in them and they're they are definitely missing you. They just don't know because of the situations that they're in and the destruction that is, it has caused. Maybe they were, maybe they left your situation for another or, you know, a third, some third party was involved. And, it, and even if it's not a relationship, it could be a family or they chose family or work or other things over your relationship. But for a lot of you, I'm getting it was another person. They thought the grass was greener on the other on another side. They went a different direction. And they're trying to figure some things out. They're missing you. But you wouldn't know because they're masking it. You wouldn't know for sure because they're masking it. Energetically, you're feeling it. 
they feel toxic. And this is a missed opportunity. The connection's still affecting them. I feel like some of them moved forward thinking that they could just get past you like they have other people in their life. They didn't see your value. They felt that chaser energy from you and it was just not attractive to them. You could be the most beautiful, amazing, sweet, sensitive, talented person in the world, but if you have that chaser energy, it repels them. That's just a twin flame dynamic. But they are reminiscing. They have keepsakes. I hear some of them, you know, writing poetry, journaling, painting, writing music, songs, art, things that you've given them, letters that you've written, they are definitely in their headspace about you and in their, you know, sacral chakra. They're feeling it, but they know that that's, it's toxic to come to you. There's been destruction and they have to figure things out, especially they know they can't come to you <laughs> with seeing other people, being in relationships, and being married. They know it. They need to figure stuff out and come to you correct. But you, the connection still affects them, and you've changed their life forever. I'm going to get one more message, and then I'm going to go into some energies that Spirit wants you to focus on this week and carry with you as well. Spirit, uh, give me... If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Yeah, like I said earlier, they thought the grass was greener on the other side because of that chaser energy. It felt toxic. It felt like alarm bells going off. Um, and let me find it. That chaser energy. It just repelled them. It repelled them. And it will always repel them the chaser energy it's toxic to this person but they don't understand that they'll never understand the, the twin flame thing they see you as another person and they relate you to another person but they cannot get you out of their head and they don't know why and they don't they really don't like it it makes them uncomfortable but at the same time there's comfort there's comfort in it You've changed them forever because it's helping helping them to go in, re-examine, and because you're on your journey and you're moving towards a, your ascension and really letting go of this person, it's you know giving them you know the sexual feels as well as going within, examining what's go gone on and regretting their actions, how they've treated people in the past, how they treated you. I mean, they're just, they're living there. They're just living there. Okay. So, Spirit, what are some things that Divine Feminine can carry with her this week going forward on their journey this collective some advice and wisdom and words that can help them on their journey begin now okay perfect take your first step now this could be if you've been on the journey If you've been on your journey, but you're you're listening in for Divine Masculine, Spirit says, begin now. Focus on your journey, not the Divine Masculine. And if you haven't fully embraced detaching from Divine Masculine and going on your spiritual journey, what this is really about, take your first step. Detach from that Divine Masculine. I'm going to get one of my or, um, oracle cards to go with this. Take your first step. In what way can they take their first step? What's going to help them? What can they work on and focus in regards to this twin flame journey spirit? 
what can I focus on, work on? Oh, wow. <sighs> Begin now, align with source. That's what the ascension is all about, is finding your, your way back to who you really are, which is your soul and God or the universe or spirit, how, however you label the, the creator. Wow. Spirit, can you tell me what Divine Feminine can surrender to to help her this week? Her or him or them? I'm going to shuffle these. Can you give, let me know what Divine Feminine, this Divine Feminine Collective, this amazing, brave, wonderful Divine Feminine Collective, what can they surrender to this week? What can they surrender to? Surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of <laughs> recreation and rejuvenation. That is exactly right. Spirit brought that in earlier as well. When you feel, you know, we sometimes we take this journey too hard and we make it harder than it is. And we're so busy trying to ascend that we're just really going in our mind and making it a task instead of enjoying the ride. Spirit saying, this is about the ride. This is about playing. This is about experiencing and experiencing your best life. Let me get in here. Go with the flow. Don't be hard on yourself. Celebrate. Play with your family. Play with your friends. Get in the community and just play. Release this. Know that aligning with your source and ascending and aligning with your spirit, it all starts with release and experience. Just being. You don't have to do anything. Just be. Be in the present moment. Be. Release the need to... If you have a thought, don't crush yourself. If you have a thought about Divine Masculine, don't crush yourself. Don't even feel bad about listening to this reading or these messages. Just let it be a guidepost. Really forget the messages from Divine Masculine. Forget what he's doing. And really resonate with these messages. Because Spirit brought you here, and Spirit brought you to the end of this reading, going through the messages with Divine Masculine to show you something. You didn't do anything wrong. If you were guided to come here to the end of this reading, you were meant to. Accept that. It is what it is. Because Spirit is sending you this special message. Play. Don't be hard on yourself. This is all about the journey. This is all about the ride. It's about illuminating and growing. Not everything has to be right now. You don't have to have everything fixed right now. You're not broken. You just enjoy the ride. Align with source. And how do you align with source and your soul? Being present, enjoying the now, choosing happiness, releasing the past, releasing the need to project yourself into the future or judge your life situation. Accept it. You can take action to change it or modify it, whatever. But do it with love, illumination, and play. Do something fun. In everything you do, enjoy it, is what Spirit's saying. Enjoy it and keep going. Celebrate with family and community and really enjoy this ride. That's what Ascension's all about. It's not, your mind wants you to have this pain and confusion. Like, this is hard, this is difficult, because they, the, the mind wants you to get off of it. The mind wants to go back to comfort. The mind wants to go back to controlling you and whispering in your ear, this is too hard, this is too difficult, I didn't do it the right way. Oh, I watched that Divine Masculine part of the reading. I, I'm not doing as well as I thought. Bullshit you are. You're here. And you were guided here for this message. Okay? And there, there may be another, uh, some other readers out there that says, you shouldn't watch tarot. You shouldn't do this. You do what you feel is right for you because there are messages in these. And that's why a lot of readers say, take what resonates and get rid of what doesn't. Don't focus on 
what divine masculine messages were. I've already forgotten what they've said. Focus on the messages that resonate with you and not the self-sabotage that your mind's trying to tell you. You're not broken. You're not bad. You are a being of light. You are a human with a soul having experience for Source. And Spirit wants you to play and enjoy and grow and live your best life and not be dragged down by... obsessive thinking about this journey about divine masculine about your future haunted by your past that things aren't they don't feel the same anymore your mind is a tricky 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 thing that causes pain and confusion but you know why it's out of fear for some reason our mind takes comfort because it fears the unknown it fears the ego death it fears you realizing you are not your personality, you're not your thoughts, you're not your mind, you're not your identity. You are a soul. You are a soul. Having an experience for Source. Release all of the beliefs that you're anything but a soul in a human form, experiencing for Source. Keep going. Don't be hard on yourself. Be playful. Celebrate. Get out there and take your first step. Begin now. Even if you've, you, even if you've started on this journey a million times and you, you're restarting every day, Spirit wants you, Spirit said earlier, this is one aspect of you that Spirit wants you to know that Spirit admires. Spirit sees this strength in you. That no matter what, you still get back on your direction. You still get back on your direction. You readjust your sails and you keep beginning over and over and over and over. And that's what Spirit wants you to do. And if you haven't, begin now. And if you already have, keep going. Begin again. Begin again. Right now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Begin again. Have fun. This is a journey. Don't live here. Live here. Keep going. And redirect yourself and begin again any time that you need to without judgment, without guilt. Just be. Accept it and move forward. Keep going. Spirit's got you. Remember, Spirit's got you. I think that was the first card. Let me find it. Spirit's got you. You're protected. Keep going and have fun. Keep going and have fun on your ascension. You're ascending. Everything that happens is part of the process. There's no good or bad. It just is. So remember that going forward. I will see you guys next week. I hope this helped you. Um, I love you all, and I thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next week. Namaste.